Thursday. You already know what that means. It's picks time. So my overall record now, after last week, I went 9-7, and seven, which makes my overall record 143-97. and 97. Pretty tall record, 9-7 and seven last week. Could have done a little better. Last two weeks, maybe this is the most important week in the whole season. Um, Got to be playing your best football right now. And, hey, let's get it. Let's have a good week. Uh, Browns, Jets tonight. Browns at home, too. I got the Browns, obviously, playing really good football. The Jets really could have used Joe Flacco, man. They didn't even want to go out and sign anyone after Aaron Rodgers got hurt. Like, what are y'all doing, bro? Like, why didn't y'all sign no one? Like, a vet. Probably franchise, bro. Definitely got the Browns tonight. No doubt we'll be reacting later. Cowboys are signed. Now, that's going to be a fun one. Cowboys at home. I'm going to take... Uh, it's going to be a good game. You know, Lions run the ball out with the uh, Cowboys struggle with. Obviously, they, they're amazing at home. Trash on the road, especially against good teams. Another good team, though, coming uh, to Dallas with another oh, winning record. A good chance for Dallas to prove themselves to see what they do with stopping the run if they could with Gibbs because Gibbs is insane. Um, it's going to be a good one. I, I'm actually very hyped for this one. It's on Saturday, too, so that's fire. Um, damn. This is a tough one. This is a tough one for me. Um, I'm going to take the Cowboys. I'm going to pick the Cowboys. It's close. I want to pick the Lions really bad. Because obviously I hate the Cowgirls. But I'll pick the Cowboys. I think they're going to win. Um, <clears throat> Bills, Patriots. Patriots beat them earlier this season. This is a must win for the Bills. I got the Bills can still win the division if the Dolphins lose to the Ravens. And then the Dolphins would lose to the Bills in the last game. And they Bills would win the division, which would be crazy. That's still in play for them. So they still have a lot to play for. Um, they start where they are now. It's looking like a Chiefs first round matchup, which would be crazy too. Um, so yeah, Bears Falcons. I got the Bears. Um, like I told you, I think the Bears are gonna be a playoff team next year. I think the Bears are gonna be a playoff team next year, and I think they're picking up stride right now. I like the Bears, man. And that, but they, the Falcons did get a win, so but they need need another win to keep their season alive. So let's see, Colts Raiders. That's gonna be a good one. Colts coming off a really bad loss to the Falcons. See if Pittman plays. Zach Moss also. Um, they need Pittman out there. Obviously, you've seen what happened without Pittman. Um, I'm going to take Indy. I'm going to take Indy. But I think it's going to be a good game. Raiders defense has really improved. It's got the head coach. Uh, when it's been, Josh Jacobs might come back. It should be a good game. Uh, uh, maybe the Raiders will win. I honestly want the Raiders to win. I'm going to pick the Colts, though. I'm going to pick the Colts. Um, Johnny Trish Rams. Got the Rams. They're, they're going to... Uh, it might be a decent game. We'll see. But the Rams are going to cook us. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it might be a close one, but I think they're going to pull it out. Eagles versus Cardinals. I got Philly. Um, don't be surprised if that's a good one, though. To be honest, Buccaneers versus Saints. Maybe the matchup of the week. I'm going with the Bucks, bro. I'm going with the Bucks. If they do the clinch division, if not, then things are very interesting. Uh, for entertainment purposes, I want the Saints, but I think the Bucks are going to do it. I think the way they're playing right now, they're definitely the Saints. Yeah, they're, I think they're going to destroy them. San Fran will obviously get their get back on the commanders who will be starting Jacoby Brissett. Um I'm not get back on them, but just from the loss. Um Jags, Panthers, got the Jags. <coughs> a good matchup for the Jags. That's a huge matchup for the Jags, considering Colt at eight and seven, also the Texans at eight and seven. What a huge matchup. Um and a lucky lucky uh matchup for them to have the Panthers. Um so it'd be interesting to see what happens with that division. So that's huge. Um, then we got the game of the week, probably the Dolphins versus Ravens. I cannot wait for that one. Remember what the Dolphins did last time they were at Baltimore? They were down 21 in the fourth and came back and won. It's going to be an insane game. I'm going to take Baltimore. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be close, and I don't be surprised if the Dolphins win it. And if they do, that would be a big statement. Give them a lot of confidence. Um, Texans versus Titans. J. Stroud should be back this week, I hope, I think. Um... Big game for the Texans. They beat them with their backup. I'm going to... I think the Titans will play well. The Titans could win it, but I'm going to take the Texans. If CJ Stroud is back, I'm going to take the te the Texans. If CJ Stroud doesn't play, I'm taking the Titans. So that's how I roll on that one. Seahawks, Pittsburgh. I'm going to take the Seahawks in that one. Could be a good game, though. Should be an interesting one. Um, Big game for both teams. Huge game. And then we got the Broncos versus Chargers. So what? Stedman's going to start? Oh, my. The battle of the backup. So I'm going to take the Broncos. I'm going to take the Broncos. So uh, still. Chiefs versus Bengals. I think the Chiefs are going to win, but the way things are looking right now, I'm not even confident in saying it. You know, the Bengals really just came off one bad game, and before that, they were really balling with Jake Browning. But no, they had Bar the Bengals had Barrow right now, oh my goodness, Chiefs will be in trouble. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Chiefs to bounce back. they got to bounce back, man. 
And then we got the Vikings, Green Bay. Um, I, w- I would have said the Vikings probably, but I'm going to go with the Packers. I think the Packers are going to win this division game um, in a huge game to keep their season alive. They're favored. Wow. And uh, it's because they're starting, uh, uh, we put over there, starting Hall. I just don't understand that Mullins has actually played decent. Like, he's not great. Like, and it turns the ball over a little, which I understand why. But, like, I don't know. I think Green Bay gets it done. So, let's see. Look at the division. The Browns are 10 wins. This is crazy because if the Ravens lose and the Browns win, and then I think they versed the last week, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not because I know the Browns already beat them once. They, bro, the, can the Browns still win this division? And then this division still up for grabs. Obviously, these two teams done. Um, we'll see what happens if one of these two teams get in. Then this is insane right now. See which teams get in here. One team in one division, one might be wild card. And the Raiders and Broncos still have a chance. They still have a chance. So, um, and I think they reversed the last week. So, but the Broncos clearly don't want to win because they fucking bench roast and like what makes no sense. Dallas Philly looks like Philly's gonna take this division. Um, looks like Dallas gonna be that five seed. Got Tampa. Lions still have a chance at the one seed. Philly still has a chance at the one piece and the Niners, and then we'll see. I think both the Seahawks and Rams are most likely to get in. He wins this one, maybe one of these teams get in wild card, and then these still teams. So it's still it's a huge week. It's an absolute huge week. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like subscribe. Can't wait for this week starting tonight.